In the last video, we set up just a little bit of an ammo system, which would check if we have any bullets before we, we were able to shoot. Then whenever we shot, it would decrement that, so it would take one off it every time. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to make, similar to our health pickups that we've done in the previous videos, we're going to make a ammo pickup that we can interact with and it'll add some to that kind of counter. So if we pop back in the Unreal, we kind of know now that we've got our shooting setup. Um, it's got an ammo counter and now we've got no ammo because we we fired all 10 of the shots. So the next thing we want to do is make an ammo pickup. So I'm just going to make this inside of my Blueprint folder. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Blueprint Class. Off that, I'm going to click on Actor. I'm going to give it a name straight away. So BP stands for Blueprint. I'm just going to call it Ammo Pickup. So this all seemed like fairly familiar to most of you. I'm going to drop it into the level. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is double click to open it. And I know that I'm going to need to collide with this. So I'm going to add in a little bit of box collision. Straight away we can kind of see that updating in the level at the minute. So that looks fine. I'm going to make sure that that's not hidden in game because I want to be able to see it just for debugging. Now, with that selected, I want to go on the right hand side, same as what we've done before. I want to do on component begin overlap. I want to send a message to the character here. So I want to go other actor, cast to first person character. And at this stage, I just want to do a little print string to say ammo. Okay, so this is just going to make sure that our collision is working. So we've got our box collider in here. It begins overlap, it casts the first person character, and it just do a quick print string to make sure it works. Um, I'm just really quickly close Outlook so we don't get any more notifications. So there's our box in front of us. We step into it and we know that it's working. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways we could do this. We could just, from here, we could actually just get our ammo if we wanted. So we could go get ammo. We could then modify it. You know, we could add an integer to it. So we could say, you know what, let's add 10. And then we could set ammo if we want. And we can plug that in. So that's this will work fine. And we're going to demo it now just to make sure it works. So basically it's the same as what was happening. We're climbing the box. It's sending a message to the first person character just to make sure it's them. Then it's saying, right, now that we make now that we know we're definitely communicating with the first person character. Let's get the ammo amount, add 10, and then set it to be the new one. So that meaning like if we've got let if we've got one and we get we pick up some ammo, we'll have eleven. If we've got none, we'll go to ten. So if you want to see this working, if we go we can do a print string and we can print that ammo amount as well. So we have compile and play. So if I fire a couple of shots off, I step into the box, now I've got 15. I step back in the box, now I've got 19. You see, as I step through, it'll just keep adding the whole time. So that works fine. Um, it's a little bit messy because it kind of sits here, but we can refine this and we can do this inside the first person character if we want. But this way it works fine. So people are comfortable doing this. You can run with that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to move that script in, in here. Um, so I'm going to make a new little custom event here. I'm going to call it add ammo. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to get ammo. I'm going to add an amount. So I'm going to hit plus on the keyboard. Then I'm going to set the ammo then. And similar to what we did with the health, we're going to give this an input. Okay, so with this custom event selected, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a new parameter. Let's use an input parameter. Uh, we'll call it ammo in. We're going to set it to be an integer. We're going to hit compile. And then we're going to add this into the equation instead. So whenever this event gets called, we're going to feed in a value. It's going to add it on to our current ammo amount. And then just for debugging on the end of it, We'll do a little print string at the end to have a look at what it is. 
So now our ammo pickup just needs to call that event. Okay, so we click and drag over here. We'll go add ammo. And then we can tell it how much do we want to add. So let's set this to be 20. So every time we step into the box now, it's going to call that event and it's going to feed in 20 into this little bit of maths for us. So now we've got 30 ammo, now we've got 50, now we've got 70, and so on and so forth. So similar to what we did with the health, um, we're going to set up like a couple of different variations of this. So what we're going to do now is if we go into our ammo pickup, rather than just having this value, we're going to give it its own variable inside here. And we're going to call it ammo size. We're going to make sure it's an int. We're going to hit compile. I'm going to give it a default value of five. And then I'm just going to connect it in here. So I'm going to get, I'm going to plug that in. Now, similar to what we did before, I'm just going to make sure this is a public variable. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit compile. So now, when we're in this editor, if I click and drag with Alt to duplicate these, you can see now we've got ammo size is exposed in the editor. So I can tell that this one's going to do 30. This one here is going to do maybe like 10. And this one here is going to do 5. So now if I hit compile and play, I pick that one up, it gives me five. I pick that one up, 13, that one gives me 30. So we've basically made a small, a medium, and a large ammo pickup. So really, really similar to kind of what we did with our health pickups. Um, we've obviously looked at a couple of different methods there. Like we are now using like public variables. So public variable means that we can modify it inside the editor in here, which is really good for like making making little pieces of uh, blueprinting and scripting that other designers can use and stuff that speed up your workflow. So the more advanced version of this is we could do like a little construction script where whenever you set it up in the editor, you know, you set what type of ammo it is and it visually changes it and stuff like that. So there's more advanced versions that we could do, but just for now, this is enough to kind of get our ammo system up and running. Um, so next week, we will likely be covering UI and menus, so we can take everything that we've done today and we can kind of wire it up so we're not just relying on those print strings to display them, we can actually use them in a UI um, on-screen kind of widgets instead.